The challenge sounded simple. Get sprayed by a skunk and test a batch of home remedies for removing the smell. <laughs> Trouble is, the Mythbusters just can't get sprayed. What we want is a little bit of this. <laughs> This skunk's from a different supplier. Do you have some advice about the best way to piss off a skunk? <laughs> I mean, we've we've we think we've tried everything. I, I tell you, I have not found it difficult. All, all you got to do is expose that thing. Right now, it's covered, and when you take that off, it's gonna feel threatened. So you think we're gonna get sprayed? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be shocked if you didn't. Well, Regan, prepare to be shocked. <laughs> That is a really good bark. <laughs> Maybe it's just the wrong season for skunk spray. I've never seen it happen this it's way. Incredible. Yeah, it is. It's incredible. I mean, this is this is third time. There's only one option left. Let the skunk out of its cage and see if it will spray when cornered in a confined space. Thanks for putting it in the women's bathroom. <laughs> hey, oh my god, it's a skunk! Look out! Yeah, he definitely squirted. Yeah, I can smell, you smell it. it? Yeah, Bad. Oh, and finally. He squirted my shoe. The only thing I didn't want him to squirt, he squirted. Come on. Never seen anyone so happy to be skunked. Finally, we smell foul. I totally psyched home skunk. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> Last, a chance to test our skunk smell remedies. <laughs> Remedy number one, an all-time favorite, tomato juice. Jamie, marinade. <laughs> wow, this is like performance art. Now, not only do they stink, they're pink. For everybody out there that thinks we have a great job, Again. Mythbuster builder Scotty has volunteered to be the nose that knows. <laughs> you smell like a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Woo! No, that's not skunk. <laughs> you know, I can't really tell for sure. I mean, Scotty didn't smell anything on us, and we got sprayed, so, you know, it seems like it must have done something. Yeah. The problem is, for this experiment to work, Adam and Jamie have to be re-skunked after each test. But this little critter isn't giving up any more juice. Maybe the sight of Adam and Jamie in their underwear sent it into shock. Oh, things never seemed so good. <laughs> so it's goodbye to Regan and his skunk, and hello, Plan B. It's so hard to get the skunk to spray. I mean, we feel relatively fine now, but the bathroom where we had the skunk, it reeks. So I think we ought to finish the test in here, use some of our substances in here and see what we can clean up. Beer. Will beer de-skunk or will it be debunked? What are you doing? You're spraying it all over the floor. That's gonna help. You start at the top and you work down. It's hard being Jamie sometimes. Humans are very sensitive to thiols, the chemicals in skunk spray. We can detect them in minute quantities, parts per billion. In fact, a sulfur thiol is added to odorless natural gas, just so we can detect leaks. It smells like the men's room in a dive bar. <laughs> yeah, but like a dive bar frequented by skunks? Not that skunky beer smell. It's skunky though still? It's slightly skunky. The beer hasn't helped. The beer uh, covers it up a little bit. <laughs> like I said, it, it's, it smells like the boys' room. <laughs> All right, so beer busted. Okay, that's <laughs> tomato juice and beer down. All right, time for feminine hygiene products. How's that work? Uh, I think you just twist it, probably. So what's in these things? It's supposed to be vinegar and water. Yeah, it tastes like vinegar and water. Talk about a <laughs> thirst for it. knowledge. You know, I just took a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scotty, you're on. Well, it didn't get out the beer smell. <laughs> just tell us if there's a little skunk on the wind. Yeah? Yeah. Still a little skunky. So, 
feminine hygiene products, douche, busted also. Not so fresh. It seems those tiles are still working their magic. We're down to our second to last test. Okay, it's two answers. Hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and just a squirt of dishwashing liquid. Better, worse, better. Worse, really? Yes. A lot better. A lot better. It smells very clean. Mmm, home remedy might have worked. Yeah. When the peroxide, baking soda, and soap mix, they release a storm of oxygen molecules. Those molecules bond with the thiols in the skunk spray and change their chemical makeup, neutralizing their smell in the process. In fact, it's worked so well that the bathroom has to be re-skunked for the final test. Ooh. Adam uses up the last of the synthetic skunk stink. All right, so what is this stuff? Commercial skunk remover. Really? Yeah. It's made for this purpose. What does it smell like? It smells fruity. It smells orangey. It makes me kind of thirsty. Let's go for it. It reeks in here. It's pretty good. Slight bit of skunk. How did it compare to the home remedy of uh, the I, last test? I think the home remedy worked better. The home remedy worked better than the commercial skunk remover. I think so. I think we've created another myth though here, Jamie. That skunks want spray myth busters? Exactly. <laughs> I'm ready to walk through the woods with impunity now. Skunks, look out!